This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSP-TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. For your information, the New York Giants are coming and one Philadelphia Eagle. Three former NFL players will be in Hazleton this weekend. Find out why next. Hello everyone, we are almost to the long holiday weekend, so stay strong. I'm Ken Cara, thank you so much for your time. Now on to our headlines from FYI and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. This weekend, two Super Bowl champions will be at Harmon Guy Stadium. They did not join the Hazleton Area High School football team, although I bet Coach Mike Brennan would be thrilled to have two former All-Pro linebackers taking on the Wyoming Valley Conference. Jesse Armstead and Antonio Pierce are owners of the Hazleton Auto Mall on the airport Beltway, and they've teamed up with the Hazleton Recreation Department to host a day of play. Here's part of my interview with Armstead and Pierce. So how did this all come about? I said I saw the Ferrari shirt. Were you a car guy? Were you, were you guys just like, hey, let's, let's get some car dealerships together? I, I think with everybody, when you're a kid, you know, let's say you know, 21 years old, you make a little bit of money, you, want, you like cars. So yeah. uh, what other, what, what's another better opportunity than just buying a car, owning a dealership and having multiple cars? So <laughs> Uh, obviously, you know, I got the Ferrari shirt on, but we own several dealerships, Honda, Cadillac, Kia, Nissan, and Hyundai. And uh, just been a great opportunity for us post-career, which you see a lot of guys struggle with. Um, I think, you know, for myself being fortunate to have a guy like Jesse, who's a little bit older than me, uh, having that fruition to look down the road and trying to go tell him a little bit and, and, and just follow his path. You know, we created a great team along with our other partner, Mike Saparito, uh, of getting into the car business, you know, starting with Honda, then Cadillac, and then coming up to the Hazleton market. That's amazing. And Jesse, let's talk about this. So you coached Antonio, right? So were you like, all right, this guy right here, I think he'd be a good business partner. How, how did that relationship form? We well, started when we uh, first played together in Washington. Yeah, and, together too. and we got a bond together in Washington. And uh, when he left uh, Washington, he wound up going to the Giants. And that's the place I just had left. So, um, you know, I, and then I re-signed back with the Giants as being a, a consultant, a uh, special advisor for the Giants. And uh, I knew he was the guy that I can help and push and, and give me a Super Bowl ring and wind up giving me two of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. So now you guys have the car dealerships. Um, if you don't recognize it, it is right out on the airport beltway here in the Hazleton area, the Hazleton Auto Mall. What drew you guys to the Hazleton area and what do you think of it so far as you're here in Hazleton today? Yeah, it's a, it's a great location. First, um, when uh, Honda did uh, the money to market and this was the location, and we came up and we seen the area and we seen a lot of people, you know, and um, realized that uh, they had picked a great location. So it's not just cars. I mean, that's great. You guys are here. You want to sell some cars. But it seems like you want to invest in the community as well. We have a day of play coming up this weekend for kids, for adults as well. You want to come out and meet Super Bowl champions, of course. Why do this? Why do you want to come out? You guys are, you know, big time. You know, you guys are football stars. Why come out and say, okay, we want to invest in the community as well? Well, I like when people say that because before we were stars, before we were big time, we were little <laughs> guys too. So uh, whenever you can give back to the community, I think myself being from California, Jesse being from Texas, uh, you always yearned for that opportunity to uh, do something within the community, uh, to help little guys, to help families, whatever, to brighten up their day for one day. You know, all the activities that we got going on, food, football, um, you know, different games. Obviously, we have cars here as well, so you can have that look. Uh, but it's just a great time to give back, to let people know that you really care about them. Uh, you're not just asking for their business, but you're asking to support them and be involved with the community. And this weekend as well, Jeremiah Trotter will be there. Eagles fans will recognize that name. You said you left him home today, just the Giants guys, Redskins guys over here today. What drills, what's going to be happening this weekend? What do you plan to do? It's going to be a fun time, you know. Uh, it's going to be a big day. Uh, we'll do football drills. We'll be out there also jump rope, um, racing, uh, all kind of things. Because we don't want to just focus just only on football. We want to make sure that all the kids have fun because I have daughters too <laughs> and I want to make sure they have something to do and they looking forward to coming up here and having fun with the kids and everything else. We did talk football as well, and you can see that portion of the interview on FYI very soon. Well, FYI told you that the TV show Cops is coming to the Hazleton area to film segments for upcoming episodes. Tonight, Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt and just Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Speziali will talk about the decision to bring the national show to Hazleton on a brand new Sam LaSanne show. This special show premieres tonight at 8 p.m. on SSP TV and SSPTV.com with rebroadcast tomorrow night at 9.30 and 11 p.m. Check your local listings for additional dates and times, and it will be the chief on the show, not the mayor. 
Did you know that children who miss out on reading and learning opportunities in the summer can fall behind as much as two grade levels by the fifth grade? To prevent this, PPL Electric Utilities, along with the PPL Foundation and in cooperation with WVIA, has launched a program called Cover to Cover. It provides free books to students in kindergarten through third grade who are at risk of falling behind in reading over summer vacation. Yesterday, PPL was at Heights Terrace Elementary Middle School in Hazleton. First through third graders were allowed to pick four books to read over the summer. PPL will give away more than 23,000 books as part of the program. Everyone stay calm. I did not forget about Dave Day this week. We just moved it to Thursday because of baseball playoffs. Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Seaman is here and we will preview tonight's big Hazleton area softball district playoff game. And when we come back, our history segment this week features the Marco Building in downtown Hazleton.